All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, a problem all of us we face, which is housing. You know, I like to really to live in a, a high building because it have a nice view. However, I don't really advise people to do it because in case of fire or something, it's not easy to get down. Like I remember, you know, once I used to be uh, staying in a floor 35, 36, I forgot. And then the alarm of the building came out and uh, everybody had to evacuate. And, you know, I did not do anything really. I said to myself, I mean, by the time you will be down, if there's a fire, it's going to, it's going to take you a half hour just to go downstairs. Uh, so what is this condominium about? As you see in front of us, they are building a high building, which is really amazing. But I never thought that even Allah, he have a condominium. I mean, this was a long time before when I was young. Like, I used to imagine the heaven of Allah is like flat. And, you know, there is grass, trees. And because this is what Allah, he said to us, right? There is uh, the Quran. There's a river of wine, river. Uh, but it looked like it's it is more modern than what we thought the heaven of Allah it's made in floors and this is what we will see in this coming story <clears throat> uh, if we go here Allah Prophet the praised one Muhammad which is like God we should worship him for his name is the praised one right you ask Muslims what Muhammad mean he said the praised one so who is the praised to <laughs> stupid religion so the messenger of Allah the praised one said whoever established Salah prayer pays zakat and dies not associating anything with Allah he has the right from Allah the uh, the, uh, the mighty the sublime etc he will forgive him okay so there is no requirement to repent based on this story of Muhammad it just do this and that and that convert to Islam do the prayer pay the zakat and be a child molester and Allah will forgive you because Allah will forgive you for what by the way forgive your sin which means all the sin is gone just by doing those three things <laughs> yeah so but here then he says whether he immigrated or died in his birthplace with like you know you do jihad or not supposedly but for sure here this is about forgiveness still the one who do jihad is in a higher place continue reading we said Allah messenger shall we not tell the people about about it so that they may rejoice uh, he said in paradise there is a 100 level the distance between each two of which is the like the distance between the heaven and the earth okay now there is 100 level in the floor the, the building the 100 floor in the building of Allah and the Mujahideen the one who killed Christians and Jews and Hindus and Buddhas and atheists, those are the have the one who will have the highest or the higher floor. Allah has prepared for the Mujahideen who strive in his cause, were it not that it would be too difficult for the believers and cannot find mounts for them. Anyone understand what does that mean? <laughs> let it go, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so obviously the Mujahideen they will get the highest floor, and that means better view, more accommodation, more vagina, bigger penises, and more naked boys. So, and the distance between every floor. And the th second floor is a distance between uh, twice the, the distance between the earth and uh, the heaven. Uh, but Muhammad, what does that mean? 
what is the distance between the earth and the heaven? What, what does that mean? <laughs> According to different hadith, Muhammad he said it is the distance of 500 years. Now, 500 years by camel. <laughs> May the camel bless you. Anyway, and then he says, Muhammad he is saying to you how much he loved jihad. But yet he don't do jihad. Muhammad is a coward. He's staying behind. I wish, I wish that I could be killed. Then brought back to life. Then killed again. I mean, do you see how Muhammad, how, how much he is in love to be killed for the sake of Allah? But he, okay, what, what is stopping you? Just take the sword and go and you will be killed. <laughs> you know, how many injury Muhammad he have? I remember the injury when somebody did beat him and Muhammad he hide and they broke his teeth if there is another uh, another one and he went to Aisha asking for help is that I mean let me know you know just remind us remind us the hero Muhammad he wished to get killed and he get back to life and get killed again and get back to life but this is what because he love Allah no because supposedly the more he do that, he is, he's, he is training the stupid Muslims. The more you do that, the more you will get a higher floor in the building of Allah. This is the whole point. But he himself will not do jihad the same as the Muslims do. He sit home, having sex with Aisha. They bring him the money. He take the fifth. Whatever Allah he gave him as worth from the booty. Hmm? This is how this man, he was able to make those people fight for him because now he make you a thief, but you don't feel guilty. He make you a criminal, but he promised you a high floor condominium, have fountains and rivers of wine and boys and women opening their legs for you. And all what you do is just use your penis to open the champagne. And he is asking you, the more you die for the sake of Allah, the more you will get higher. This is how Muhammad was able to make somebody commit suicide. They are not committing suicide because they love Allah. They are committing suicide to get the vagina and the liver, the river, the river of milk and honey and wine. The women who Allah he spent one thousand year each one of them to smooth her skin. The women who will sing for him, and he can see through her vagina. The floor, the condominium, which is waiting for him. That is the reason for Muslims to do jihad. It is the reward of a filthy liar, fool, and foolish those who believe in him. Thank you very much for watching. Share the video with your friends. And the link for the hadith is, is, is down in the info. And if you like to debate me, Muslims, if there is any of you there to debate me, please let me know. I will be back soon. And we will do a live debate as usual. Thank you for watching. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. I mean to that. See you soon again. God bless.